good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 17. We got a lot of customizing to do in this one, guys. It's going to be, you know, there's not a lot of figures right here, but the what, what we're going to be doing here today is going to be pretty epic, and it's going to be pretty freaking sweet. I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, I am kind of worried about how I'm going to film some of it and how I'm going to get everything on video for you guys, but I have a really sweet idea for everything and it's going to be a really strong episode if I can get everything in here. It's going to be a, a cool episode regardless but at the same time I do want to make sure that I get everything in here for you guys and everything fits well and looks nice for you guys. So what I have in my mind is some pretty epic swappages and we're going to get going on it right now. I'm going to go through everything. So first of all, if you guys missed our video from the other day, which if you did, you need to totally go check it out. We made a custom Elite Seth Rollins from Royal Rumble 2019, as well as this Fantasy Attire Punisher Jeff Hardy face paint. And what I told you guys in that video is I had some ideas for the neck down. I didn't want to use this exact formula. Like, I kind of wanted to have the, the long black shirt sleeves. I wanted to uh, have some baggier pants. I wanted to switch out the shoes with possibly some other shoes. And I wanted to add some other things that uh, won't be done for a couple days because I'm waiting on a couple things to come in. But when it's done, it's going to be freaking absolutely beautiful. But anyways, the Jeff Hardy right here, that is why we have this figure today. We're going to be doing some uh, swippages and swappages. We're going to be popping this that off um, just to keep it safe make sure I don't get anything on it then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the kitchen we're going to be torso cracking this upper part I'm going to be switching the shoulders and arms out with this Jeff Hardy this old custom elite Jeff Hardy I had a while back if you guys have been following the channel a long time you guys will recognize this but what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be switching the shoulders and arms from this Jeff over here and then uh, I'm going to sand down this uh, you know the, the tank top look I'm gonna sand that down I'm going to paint over um, his his you know his skin tone here I'm gonna you know get all his tattoos pretty much covered up I'm going to get like you know his little shirt his turtleneck shirt that he wears all the time and we're going to switch out the sleeves and stuff so he has like a full black long sleeve on but I don't like this torso I feel like this torso is pretty small for Jeff also I like the studded belt and the upper legs on this Jeff so uh, instead of having that shield upper over here we're gonna have the better looking Jeff Hardy upper and I think I'm going to you know do those swaps and then uh, paint that up sand it paint it seal it up put the head back on there and then what we're going to do, we're not going to be done with it, we're going to go down here to the lower legs and we're going to switch the lower legs out with these legs and these are Fandango Elite 27 legs over here aka uh, Referee HBK Elite. Best of pay-per-view, Build-A-Figure Shawn Michaels Referee legs. So we'll switch these over here to give them the baggier look and then we're going to be switching the, uh, the shoes with these Big E shoes, and I'll show you why I'm doing that. Um, I feel like Jeff's shoes are not, they're not the kick pad feet. I don't know why Mattel gives them the kick pad feet. I'm going to be giving them these, and I'm probably going to be adding white outsoles to it. I just think it'll be really sweet with the, the full black look with the white outsoles, with the white belt, and the Punisher face paint will look freaking sweet, nasty particles. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Um, everything in my mind seems to be going right, so we'll just have to see. So Big E will be getting these shoes, which are, I think, Dolph Ziggler shoes, which I think will look okay. It won't look beautiful or perfect, but, you know, it won't be completely accurate. But it'll still work. I think that'll still work out. And this Jeff Hardy fodder will just go away, and uh, we'll figure out what to do with it in the future. But that is Jeff Hardy. That is Big E. That is the other Jeff Hardy. And then for MVP... What we're going to be doing is I'm going to do like a mashup of both of these attires. So what I plan on doing is I think I like the full tattoo sleeve, but what I'm thinking over here is take the right black and blue arm, put it over here, put the red glove over here with that black and blue arm, put the blue glove over here, put the blue taped head on here with the red headband, and then we'll be switching one of the, either the right or left kick pads to make it like a red, white, and blue like USA attire is what I'm thinking. So the reason that I'm going with the blue tape on the head is because uh, this one actually has some paint chipping. This one's painted better and I just think overall it'll look better with the blue head instead of the red head. And the reason I'm going with the red attire instead of the blue attire for the main body is because I like the tattoos and I'm not going to be torso switching an ish just for that. I'm going to be uh, just uh, using the red with the star. I like the MVP spelled out like that. And on the back, you got the nice logo. I like the MVP over here, but still, going to keep the tattooed arms. I just like it better. And that's what we're going to be doing with MVP. we got a lot of work to do here, guys. But the first order of business is going to be going ahead and uh, getting off this Jeff Hardy head. 
which I will probably do off camera and then I will appear in the kitchen, heat up the water and get going on torso cracking this which is uh, not something I look forward to doing but we're going to try it anyway. Also have my uh, super glue to reseal it. Alright guys, this is my signature pink cup that I usually use while I'm torso swapping or cracking. I'm going to open up the microwave here. We're going to take the cup of water. We're just going to sit it inside the microwave and it barely fits. I always remember that it barely fits. You got to balance it on those two beams there. And now that it's in there, we heat that hoe up for probably three and a half to four minutes. Um, let's just go with three and a half. And now we wait. Alright guys, that should be long enough. The water was clearly boiling and stuff. Now let's take it back to the station while holding a towel because it's going to burn our freaking skin off if we don't. Alright guys, we're back at the station. You can see we have our towel laid out. What I'm going to do is take the two Jeff Hardys and pretty much just stick them in and uh, wait a little bit and let this water do its work. We're going to let them soak for maybe two, three minutes and then they should be ready to torso crack. Um, again, we're only going to be doing the upper portion because uh, we'll do the rest with the hair dryer. But there we go. They're sinking in there. And uh, yeah, we should just have to wait, let that uh, do its work, and then we'll be ready to try and torso crack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that should be long enough. Uh, again, I have my towel here because I want to make sure that I don't burn the hell out of myself because this water is going to be extremely hot. And uh, yeah, like I said, you don't want to burn yourself. And uh, that's why we're going to pat these hose off. We're going to shake them a little bit, get all that excess water off. And even like I can feel the drip drops hitting my hand. And it, it doesn't feel nice, guys. The hot water is definitely, it was over boiling temperature, which is freaking 212 degrees. So uh, the, these torsos should be ready to crack. But I, I don't want any of that loose water to fall out on me because, again, burn your freaking skin off. Probably should have worn gloves. But uh, here we go. Shout out to Jesus Customs for teaching me a better way on how to torso crack. We're going to slide the arms forward like this. Take the flathead screwdriver, stick it behind his back right here. You want to make sure you get deep in there though. And uh, sort of split that seam or whatever. And it should just kind of pry apart if you get it deep enough. I don't know if that popped that side or not because it's so loose, I don't know if it's going to make that crack noise. There it goes, I got that side pretty freaking good, but did they get the other side? Let's see if we can just pry it up. Again, the freaking plastic is really weak right now, so like, uh, you don't want to you don't want to damage it too bad, but I don't know, I feel like that side got it pretty good. Yeah, this side's coming up pretty good too. If you, if you leave it in there long enough, I mean, it should freaking work. And it shouldn't give you any stress marks or anything like that. You should be good to go. Um, I'm pretty sure this side already cracked because I remember it coming up. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got this. Yeah, I mean, that, that looks pretty successful. We freaking did it. All right, we got both sides done. We just got to lift up this side at the same time as that side. I'm not really worried about any scratches or anything because, again, they will be. it's going to be sanded and painted, so you're probably not going to see it anyway. But there we go, successful torso crack on Jeff number one. And I honestly don't give that much of a damn about Jeff number two, so I think we're going to be in the clear here. But it's going to be interesting to see um, how this one goes compared to the other one. I just, oh my god, the drip drop got on my hand. So going into Jeff number two, the only thing I don't want to damage is the shoulders because you don't want to F up the shoulders that you're about to pop into the other figure. All right, there goes one side. I'm telling you guys, this is probably the easiest method. You heat up the water for a really long time, get it like boiling hot, and then you want to stick the screwdriver deep into that pit, get it that seam, and bam, launch the torso across the room, and it's completely cracked. All right, so we got our set of arms that we wanted. We have our two Jeff arms here. The other half of that torso cracked and flew across the arena, or the backstage area here, but I believe that is, I believe that's it, guys. We freaking got it. Now all we have to do is uh, take out the arms on the other Jeff and do our little sand slash paint job. I have retrieved the other half. Again, I don't really know what to do with this now. We're just kind of waiting. Um, you know what I can do though? I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna pop the. Uh, I'm gonna pop these legs into this cup of water here, and see if we can go ahead and get those lower legs out. And that way we can go ahead and switch them later on. That way they'll be you know getting loose. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and pop 
Big E's legs in there as well. And now what are we doing? Oh yeah, we gotta finish getting these parts out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these arms out of this uh, this torso and then we're gonna proceed with our sand slash paint job. So I finally got the arms, the arms separated from the Jeff torso and I did get the torso completely cleanly cracked. Looking very, very nice. Cannot wait to get started on this. Uh, I mean, honestly, do I have to sand down these little lines? No, but I feel like it would look better if I did, you know, sand down those lines. It would make it look like one complete shirt mold and not, you know, two different shirt molds. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I'm just going, I, I think I'm going to sand it and just see how it goes. If anything, you know, it, it'll be a little bit effed up or maybe I can get somebody to fix it for me, but I think I can do it. Um, I feel pretty confident in my customizing skills to be able to do it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try it. And you know what? If I screw it up, I screw it up. But let's go ahead and get going on this sanding. Alright guys, here's what the front of the torso looks like after the sanding. I don't think it's completely perfect, um, but we'll have to see, you know, what it looks like. I mean, I may add a little bit more to it. I'm sorry I didn't get the full thing on camera again. It's kind of difficult to sand it, make sure everything's good and all that good stuff. But uh, what we're going to do now is move on to the back side of the torso and sand the rest of this thing. Somehow I thought I was recording that whole time, but I wasn't. And here's the completed back piece you guys can see. Um, I think this turned out better than the front side, but we'll just have to see, you know, once it's all painted up and all that good jazz, it should look pretty freaking fresh. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how this thing turns out. I may go ahead and, uh, do a little bit more sanding to this, but the next thing you guys will see will probably be those switches with the big E feet, the lower legs and everything. Then we'll go to painting this, then we'll go to assembling it, and then we'll move on to MVP or whatever the hell else we got. Alright guys, I guess we can go ahead and take big E out here. Um, this should be long well enough. Um, honestly, the, the water's pretty much like warm now or cold. So there, there we go. We got Big E's feet out now, so Big E can just go chill over there. Um, I honestly don't know how this Jeff Hardy thing's going to go because, like I said, the water's pretty much completely cooled off now. Um, like, it, it's been a little bit. Sanding that took a little bit of time here, but we'll just see how this goes, and we'll see if we can get these legs off. I'll be surprised if we do, honestly. There's the big E feet. I want to make sure that these don't get lost. And then, uh, here we go. Okay, so the feet still pop out, and we can put these over here. Um, we're probably going to have to hair dryer these later on, and I doubt these lower legs come off. Oh, snap. They do come off. Would you look at that ish, Brad? Wowsies, my lousies. Definitely going to have to have the hair dryer for the rest of it, but we did get that off. So that is the left lower leg. We'll go ahead and stick that over here. Um, the right lower leg, I think, is going to come off. Yeah, it just took way too much time, to be honest, but we did get it. And we got the... Yeah, we got, we got it. Okay, yeah. All right, so we got both of those lower legs. Now, uh, this Jeff Hardy piece is pretty much useless. I don't know what I'll do with it. But uh, he can go Captain Dan over there in the chair. I uh, fell. But now I think we have all of our parts to put together our Jeff Hardy. But uh, we got to paint the torso. We have to reseal it. We got to paint up the shoes and everything. And we still have to heat up the lower legs of the uh, the main Jeff Hardy, the entrance grate. So what we're going to do now is heat up the lower legs of the entrance grates and switch them with the baggier pants. Alright guys, I went ahead and heated up the, uh, the the Dolph Ziggler feet from that other Jeff Hardy. That way we could just go ahead and pop on Big E's feet. That way we could be done with Big E and Big E can go just chill or or whatever the case is. But I don't even know if they got hot enough here. Ah, uh, Christ. Yeah, I don't know if it got hot enough. Maybe it did. I, I don't know. Oh, well that one went on. That one went on. Let's see if I can get the other one on here. It doesn't even feel freaking hot. Son of a bitch. We'll come back to him later. God. But anyways, these legs, let's see if this is good enough. We have the right lower leg of Jeff Hardy, and no, it's not. It's not even freaking close. My God almighty. 
This one's pretty hot though. Maybe this one will come off. I think we're gonna get the left leg off, but I don't think we're gonna get the right leg off. I just don't see it. Yeah, we got the we got the left leg, but the uh, the right leg is completely just useless. Um, I don't even remember what freaking leg this is. I think this is the left leg, but. There's supposed to be an L on it. Where's the L? Well, good God Almighty. Let's see if it goes on anyways. Well, there it goes. It went on, but is it the right leg? I would hate for it to be the wrong leg, but I mean, it looks it looks okay, but we're going to heat up the other one because uh, we still have to heat up this right side because it's still, you know, it didn't get the, uh, it didn't get the heatage that we wanted. So back to the hairdryer. Alright guys, hopefully that is good enough. We're gonna slide the Jeff Hardy leg peg out of the out of that lower portion right there, and good god almighty, it's still being the the, the the problem with these legs is they're just so effing thick that it takes a lot to get that peg out, and it also takes a lot of heat to get it like Good God Almighty, man. Just freaking come out already. Good Jesus. Finally, you piece of ass. God. Hopefully the uh, the HBK slash Fandango leg isn't as difficult to put on as that one was to get off. It's very hot, but my fingers are basically numb now after years of freaking just destroying and brutalizing and mutilating my hands to perform these surgeries. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, just freaking, you know, immune to it. It's completely a lie. I, I completely burned myself earlier in this video. And Bamsies, Malamsies, we finally got it. I hope that's on the right leg. It looks like it's on the right legs. Like, I think this is, you know, I think it's accurate, but I, I mean, I really couldn't tell you. Maybe, I, I, th uh, I don't know. I don't know, it looks pretty good. Let's let's just move on. So we are now done with the Jeff legs. Uh, keep those Jeff pegs over there. We're gonna have to put those in my little miniature baggie to make sure that uh, we don't lose those for future you know, switches and stuff. There is the new uh, lower legs on the Jeff. I kind of like it. It feels pretty good, you know. Um, it looks pretty good, too. I can't wait to see what it looks like with the shoes and everything on it. But now what we have to do is, honestly, I need to run to the store, and I need to get some finer grit sandpaper to make sure that, you know, that, that torso comes out as smooth as I want it because once we paint it, it's going to be overseas malovesies and uh, we won't be able to fix it once I, I mean it would be fixable but you know freaking sandpaper in that black is gonna be annoying I still gotta put the foot back on a big E and uh, yeah guys let's move on to the next step alright ladies and gentlemen I actually ran to Walmart they had the fine grit sandpaper I got the 220 and the 150 I started off with the 150 sanded it again got the 220 sanded it again and I think it's good enough hopefully to uh, you know be clean I mean I've, I've went over it multiple times and uh, I think it's good enough, we'll just have to see, but it is time to paint and see how this thing looks. So I guess the next step is going to be painting up this whole torso in black. Alright guys, here are the two paint torso pieces. Uh, they turned out alright. They're not completely perfect, but uh, they have sort of shine to them because they're still not done drying. Um, but the smoothness is pretty good. It's not perfect by any means. You know, I'm not professional at sanding and everything, but uh, I think they're pretty good. What I'm going to do is go ahead and, you know, glue it together, put those arms in there, get it in position, crazy glue it together, and then I'm going to come back and I'll probably, you know, uh, seal it up, and then we'll come back and we'll put on the head scan, and then we'll also add on the shoes. The shoes I probably won't paint today because uh, I feel like we're already running out of time. I could be wrong about that, but I do feel like uh, I'm not going to paint the shoes today. I will add them to the figure though and we're also going to do those MVP switches real quick so I guess the next order of business is going to be to put this torso in position go ahead and add those arms and then put it all together so what you do is you take the front 
torso piece like this. It still has its little uh, rubber piece in there, you know, to, uh, to help with that ab crunch so you don't F up everything. So it is in position. Now what we're going to have to do is take our arms that we want to use. I got the full black arms here. Stick it right there. Go on the other side and stick it in uh, where it's supposed to go like so. So we stick it in like this right here. Goes in there well. I don't think that, you know, it's going to be loose or anything. It does feel pretty good snug in there and stuff like that. So now I'm going to take my crazy glue and uh, put all the, you know, the parts that I need. Also, I don't need to forget the freaking neck peg. How freaking tragic would that be? Got to go ahead and stick the neck peg on. And then, yep, got the neck peg on. And then uh, now we're going to take our crazy glue. Uh, not that, where's the crazy glue? I just bought this as well. I got the crazy glue right here. I'm going to add it, you know, line it all up, and then we're going to seal that hoe together. So here's the Jeff Hardy body, guys. Obviously, we still have to add the shoes to them, but the torso did work out. Um, it feels all good and stuff. I also added Big E shoes already. I think the white kind of looks fresh. Maybe I'll add some gold to it. I think it'll really look nice, but that's what Big E looks like with the Dolph Ziggler feet on there. Pretty nice stuff with the extra strap. But he is complete, or Big E, you know, that wasn't even a main swap, but he still looks pretty fresh. Uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and heat up the Jeff Hardy head, the Jeff Hardy shoes, the MVP boots, the MVP arms. We, we got a lot of switching to do still. So let's go ahead and knock all that out. Alright guys, maybe that's good enough. I guess we can go ahead and pop Jeff's head scan on here real quick. That way we make sure we get that custom head scan on there. And if I have to add, you know, uh, sealant, which I still am going to have to, um, then I can still do that. That won't be a big problem. God almighty. All right, we got it. All right, the next order of business is going to be popping MVP's head off. Should be pretty simple. All right, got his head scan off. And then uh, pop off the Elite 1 MVP head scan. Go ahead and pop this over to the Elite 9 MVP with the blue nostril strip right there. Now leave this arm on, but we got to pop this glove out if it's hot enough. All right, got that. So the red gloves up here. Now we have to pop the left arm off like that. And also, I think we have to... Wait a minute. Blue. Yeah, that's right. So this will have to be popped out. If it'll come, will it come? All right, got that. Now we have to pop the right arm of the blue MVP off just like so and then we have to pop this blue glove out because it's not going to be it's going to be red glove with blue sleeve got that now pop the blue arm over to the other side of the red MVP oh come on Brad there's no way you're not still hot enough are you cereal are you breakfast cereal all right I did get it all right so now we have to pop the red glove into the blue sleeved hand which I don't know if that's going to work but we'll try it anyways Oh, that's, it's actually very loose. How freaking unfortunate. Why is it loose? All right, well, we're going back with the blue hand then. We'll just put the blue hand over here and the red hand over there, I guess. That's so stupid, though. Maybe I can, that's so dumb, Brad. Why would that even be a thing? So the blue gloves over here. So should I put both blue gloves on the MVP or should I, should I put the red glove on the right side? I'm going to go red glove because I think it'll be better in the long run when I do some other swaps. Yeah, we'll put the red, we'll put the red hand back in here if it'll freaking go. All right, finally got that. So yeah, we'll leave the red glove over here for now, and then we'll uh, we'll do a blue boot over here and a red boot over here. So now we're going to switch these, but we also have to put the red head scan over here and the, uh, the other arm and stuff like that. Um, I doubt it's hot enough, but we'll see if the MVP arm will go on right here. Why in the actual hell did they make this peg so long for this arm? Can somebody tell me that? Why aren't they the same mold? How freaking dumb, idiot, moron, stupid is that? That arm will not go all the way on. That arm will not go all the way on. Wowsies, malousies. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this red glove into this arm if it'll actually go real quick. And then, um, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's so stupid. Well, I guess this one's pretty much... This one won't be used. I guess I'll just use the red and blue version instead of the blue and red version. That's so stupid, bro. Well, we still have to put these feet onto this Jeff Hardy, the, the Punisher Jeff Hardy. 
Uh, these are the Big E feet, and I doubt these are going to go on because they, they have to be really hot because look at this angle. You have to like get it. You have to get it not only on this peg, but you also have to prevent it from going outside this cut. It's just really difficult. I may have to do it off camera here, but I will get it. But we have to heat up MVP's feet anyway. So let's go ahead and heat up MVP's feet, and we'll do the same uh, to the Big E feet. That way we can do it all together. All right, guys, we'll see if that's good enough. Uh, I think we're going this side to blue. So we'll switch off this kick pad with the right kick pad of the other MVP. And we'll pop this on here. And now we'll pop the red one onto the blue one. And now both MVPs are done because that stupid arm won't go on. So this, uh, my mix and match MVP is done. We can move him over um, to the left. And now I have to somehow put these freaking Jeff Hardy feet on which I honestly don't know how I'm going to do on camera. It's sort of, again, guys, it's very difficult to do. So I guess I will just see you guys at the end of the video when we take a look at everything all together. And here we have every single thing that we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Guys, episode number 17. Let's get straight into Jeff Hardy right here, guys. My Lord Jesus, I do love the way this came out. You got the full black there. You guys can see we did get rid of those marks. You got the white streaks going through the hair. The Punisher face paint with the black splatter on there. White belt. We do have the all black sleeve shirt. We have the baggier lower legs, and we have the Big E shoes, which I think make it look better. I just think that looks so much better, and I may actually come in and paint some like Punisher skull teeth or possibly like a pattern on there. I'm not sure just yet, or I may just do white outsoles. I'm still debating myself on that one. Um, however, this leg right here got really loose somehow. I even pushed the pit, like that peg all the way in. I don't know why it's like making it so loose. I may have to um, do something else or something like that. I think I've encountered that maybe once ever and I never fixed it. So I, I honestly don't know how to fix that, but we'll see. I may have to go back to the other Jeff Hardy legs, which are these, which uh, aren't, isn't a big deal. If I have to switch it, I have to switch it back, but I will be putting these shoes on. I really like the way these shoes look compared to the kick pads. But what a freaking Jeff Hardy, guys, and I'm, I'm not done with it. If, if you guys think I'm done with it, I am not. We're going to add a couple accessories and stuff to this, and uh, Jeff Hardy is going to be looking absolutely fresh and nasty. But look at that face scan, guys. I love the way that came out. I freaking love this. And easily one of my favorite customs in my collection now is that custom fantasy attire Jeff Hardy with the Punisher face paint. Um, here we have MVP, and honestly, I mean, this is... Uh, this is sort of a Frankenstein effort. I hate the gloves didn't work out, guys. Again, I wanted a blue glove here and a red glove here, but this uh, the red gloves were really loose into this sleeved arm and the blue gloves. The blue glove could have went over here, but I didn't want. I wanted to mix and match here, and uh, that's why he has you know the red, white, and blue going down. I love the tattoo look on this arm with the sleeve look over here. Um, I think that looks pretty sweet, nasty. Um, I also like the mismatched boots. I think that's pretty cool that it's the same logo but in blue and in red. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. I don't have his original headband if he even came with one. This is the Terry Funk Elite 40 headband, so I just stuck that on there. So that is MVP. And then Big E, he really just got caught in the crossfire because he wasn't even supposed to do anything on this video. But he ended up with a sweet freaking fix-up. I like the white panels on the back of these little boots there. It ties in beautifully with the to Toys R Us Bootios 3-pack Big E. I think that looks pretty sweet and nasty. If you came in here and painted some gold trim or some more white and stuff on the buckles and stuff, I think it would look really sweet, but that is it for Big E. And again, guys, I love the way the Jeff Hardy came out. I think it's absolutely sick nasty. Cannot wait to get all those accessories in here and stuff that I'm talking about so you guys can see what the, finest, uh, the, fin the final product is is going to look like for Jeff. But that pretty much does it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy and learn something from this video. If you did, comment down below what your favorite custom is. Do you like Jeff Hardy MVP or Big E most? I'm pretty sure it's going to be Jeff Hardy. I mean, I don't know how you can compete with it. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.